Hi kids, happy Reformation Day. Good to see you. I want to tell you something, read you something about a very important man whose name is Martin Luther. Martin Luther is very important for Christian people. He told people all about Jesus and his grace. And it's a book written by Carolyn Burke and illustrated by Art Kirchhoff. Martin Luther lived over 500 years ago. And so we're hearing about someone who lived that many years ago. Let's read the book. Young Martin Luther lived long ago in days of queens and of kings, with castles tall and knights flashing swords, but none of our modern things. With Father Hans, a hard-working man, and Mother Margaret, too, he lived in Germany, far away across the ocean blue. At school, he sat on benches hard and studied every day. He laughed and sang like the other kids do, and on his lute he would play. That's a musical instrument. It may have been an exciting time, yet it was difficult, too. Few people knew the gift of God's grace, the love he gives me and you. A lawyer, that's what Martin should be, Hans said. My boy will be rich. But watch and see, for God knows what's best, as Luther's plans made a switch. As Martin walked one day in the rain in woods outside of the town, the lightning flashed and thunder crashed, and Martin fell to the ground. God's mad at me. I fear that I'll die. He cried, St. Anne, save me now. I'll give away my things to the poor, and then I'll take a monk's vow. Poor Martin still did not know the truth, that God sees all of our tears. But saints and angels can't answer prayer. Our prayers reach only God's ears. A monastery now was his home. His bedroom was a small cell. He knelt to pray each day seven times whenever called by the bell. He hoped to earn God's love by his deeds. He tried to be very good. But total sinners, that's what we are. We don't do things like we should. Poor Martin felt he'd never be right. His sins were such a disgrace. He did not know that we are forgiven by Christ, who's taken our place. <clears throat> One day he read the Bible's good news. Forgiveness, heaven, are free. Christ Jesus died for us on the cross. He gives us his victory. So Luther wanted people to know God's gifts aren't something we do. By faith in Christ, we all can be saved. God's word tells us it is true. Not all agreed, and some turned away, like Tetzel, who'd loudly sing, If you drop coins in this wooden chest, a soul to heaven will spring. Now Luther knew what had to be done. The scripture's truth must be heard, so Luther wrote a list to to debate, all based on God's holy word. He nailed his list for people to see right on the church's front door. His statements bold in all, 95, soon caused a mighty uproar. The printing press made copies for all. The people learned in each town. The Lord hates sin, but loves you and me. That's why to earth he came down. For only Jesus lived perfectly, and then he died in our place. By faith we know forgiveness is ours. In heaven we'll meet face to face. Not all were glad to hear Luther's news. Some leaders said he must stop. We'll have to kick you out of the church, said leaders right at the top. But Martin did not listen to threats or what their letters might say. He said, the truth's in scripture alone. It's God whom I must obey. He next was sent to court for a trial, accused like liars and thieves. The emperor watched 
as lawyers declared, it's wrong what this man believes. But Luther stood strong and would not recant. The Spirit blessed him with power. He bravely spoke of God's gift of grace in that remarkable hour. He said, unless from God's holy word you show that my words are wrong, I'll never stop. I'll never recant. I trust the Lord who is strong. The emperor said, this will never do. The court buzzed like a beehive. Leave town, outlaw, for I now decree you're wanted dead or alive. Without a worry, Luther went home. He knew the end of the story. No matter what might happen that day, it all would be for God's glory. A rumbling noise disturbed Martin's ride. A group of knights stopped his cart. They kidnapped him and hurried away, escaping fast in the dark. But what relief! The danger was gone. The Wartburg was a safe place. Sir George was Luther, now in disguise, a knight with a beard on his face. A year went by while Martin worked hard until all danger was clear. He went back home to preach once again of Christ, our Savior most dear. He only hoped to change what was wrong. Reform was all that he planned. He preached, he taught, he wrote many books to help us all understand. God blessed his life and wife's, wife Katie's too, with six kids who loved the Lord. They had good friends and good songs to sing. Praise God, our Savior adored. This was The Adventures of Martin Luther, written by Carolyn Burke illustrated by Art Kirchhoff.